Hello dear children, I hope you all are fine. Today I am going to start reported speech. I know children, this, is, uh, this topic is very much familiar to you because you did it in class 7. Alright, but um, here also I am going to discuss with you each and every point in detail. Okay, so listen to me carefully and try to understand the uh, different points of this topic. First of all, children, look at this uh, picture. Now you can see here two children talking to each other named Ankit and Arun. And uh, Ankit is saying something to Arun. What have you seen here? Ankit says, I bought a new bicycle yesterday. Now, next day when Arun meets Neil. Okay, so now he can report what was said by Ankit in two ways. Either he can say, Ankit said, I bought a new bicycle yesterday or Ankit said that he had bought a new bicycle the previous day. Now you have seen here in the first case, we quote the actual words spoken by Ankit. This is called direct speech. Now, Ankit's words are put within inverted commas. The sentence inside the inverted commas starts with a capital letter you have seen. And the reporting verb said is used. In the second sentence, we report what Ankit said without quoting his exact words. This is called indirect or reported speech. So notice the changes effected in the first sentence when it is turned into indirect speech. The comma after said and the quotation marks and the quotation marks are removed. The conjunction that is used to introduce the indirect statement. The pronoun I is changed into he. The verb bought is changed into had bought. So why changing from direct to indirect speech? We have to follow certain rules. So here we will learn the rules regarding change of tense, pronouns, time and place. But today I am going to discuss with you the rules that we have to follow regarding change of tense. Now see children, if the sentence begins in the present tense and the reporting verb is in the present or future tense, there is no change of tense. However, if the sentence has the reporting verb in the past tense, there is a change in reported speech. Look at the example given here. Hema says Madhu reads well. So here the reporting verb says is in present tense, isn't it? So when you change it into indirect speech, you don't have to change the tense of reads. Right? So how will you write it? Hema says that Madhu reads well. Now look at the second sentence. Hema said Madhu reads well. So here the reporting verb is said that is in past tense. So you have to change the tense of reads from, from reads to read. Alright. So now let's study how changes occur in various tenses. See, all present tenses of the direct are changed into their corresponding past forms in the indirect. I have given everything in a tabular form. Look at the examples given here. Simple present. First rule is simple present is changed into simple past. Now look at the example given here. The boy said, I like sweets. And here uh, you have seen the reporting verb is in past tense. So we have to change the tense like to Light, simple past. The simple past form of like is light. The next in present continuous tense will be changed into past continuous tense. Brinda said I am buying a new pen. So am buying is in present continuous tense. So you have to change it into past continuous form was buying. So the sentence will be Brinda said that she was buying a new pen. 
the present perfect will change into past perfect. Ranjit said, I have read this novel. Have read will change into past perfect form that is had read. Ranjit said that he had read that novel. Present perfect continuous will change into past perfect continuous. Rudra said, I have been waiting here for a long time. Have been waiting. This is the tense form. So you have to change it into had been waiting. Rudra said that he had been waiting there for a long time. So similarly, simple past will be changed into past perfect. Joseph said, Clark gave me a watch. So gave is in fee to form that is simple past form. So this will change into past perfect form that is had given. Joseph said that Clark had given him a watch. Past continuous, Karan said Sudhir was swimming in the pool. We change into past perfect continuous. That is Karan said that Sudhir had been swimming in the pool. So had been swimming. This is this verb form is in past perfect continuous. The past perfect will change into past perfect. It will remain same. You have seen past perfect does not change. It will remain same. Nita said, I had completed my project. So when you change it into indirect speech, it will remain same. Nita said that she had completed her project. So had completed, indirect also, in indirect also had completed. No need to change the tense. Similarly, in case of past perfect continuous also, no need to change the tense of the verb. Bina said we had been practicing for two hours. In case of indirect speech, Bina said that they had been practicing for two hours. So had been practicing in direct speech also, in the indirect speech also, it will remain same had been practicing. Now, there are some exceptions. Okay, there are some exceptions regarding the change of tense. Um, exceptions to the above rules that we have discussed. Uh, if the reported speech expresses a universal truth or an established or habitual fact, its tense remain unchanged. Look at the example here. The teacher said, the earth revolves around the sun. So as you know, the earth revolves around the sun. This is a universal truth. So, no need to change the tense of the verb revolves from revolves to revolved. Even if the reporting verb is in past tense. So, what will be the indirect speech? The teacher said that the earth revolves around the sun. Similarly, if the reported speech describes a state of affairs which still exist when the speech is reported, its tense remain unchanged. Look at this example given. The president said the people of this country are very intelligent. So in the indirect speech, the president said the people of this country are very intelligent, not were very intelligent. Okay, is it clear to you? Right. Next, uh, in case of models, models for verb forms also change sometimes. Uh, models like can, may, will, shall and must change into could, might, would, and had to, respectively. Right. Now, till here, uh, I hope you have understood, children. Now, next change of uh, pronouns and time and place we'll discuss in my next class. Till then, take care.